वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गाइड यू फॉर स्टील स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन व्हिच आई डिजाइन फॉर वन ऑफ माय क्लाइंट व्हिच वाज अबाउट थ्री स्टोरी कमर्शियल बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गाइड यू फॉर साइज ऑफ बीम एंड एंड साइड स्टील रो डिटेल्स इफ यू नीड हाउस प्लानिंग स्ट्रक्चर ड्राइंग थ्री डी इनिमेशन फॉर एनी टाइप ऑफ बिल्डिंग सो यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन दिस व्हाट्सएप नंबर दिस इज पेड सर्विस नॉट फॉर फ्री as you can see guys this is two section and this is its long section for the floor beam you can see this is uh, here the uh, span between two columns so let me guide you properly this is about 5 meter okay next guys you can see this is section so section 4a and section 4b so first of all i will tell you about size of size of beam okay especially floor beam so guys you can see clearly here size or uh, let me write properly size for the beam which is 30 cm by 45 cm you can see clearly so the width is 30 cm and the depth is 45 cm this is size of floor beam now if you see guys here this is 4a section okay and here you can see this is for a section in this long section you can see this is in the section 4b so where you can see 4b so let me guide you for 4b the size is same because this is only the section in which i i will guide you for extra steel uh, steel rods are at the distance of l by 4 etc so therefore guys here 30 cm is this one and 45 cm is this one so let me guide you properly 30 cm you can say 12 inches by 18 inches 18 inches 45 cm 12 inches 30 cm so guys you can see here we have four bars at the bottom so four you can see the dia is 12 12 mm you can see and this is bars okay next guys you can see clearly we have two bars at the top portion this is tension zone guys you can see the bottom is a tension zone top is compression zone in compression zone we have two steel rods and at the bottom which is tension zone we have four steel rods you can see here two bars at the bottom four bars 12 mm same 12 mm next as you can see this is the stirrup dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 100 mm so normally you can say 100 mm are 4 inches you can say normally okay or normally you can also say 10 cm So here guys this is the section 4b if you see guys this is one column and this is second column the span between two column is 5 meter if you see here 4b this is 4b guys here you can see this is 4b so in 4b you can see clearly we have four bars at the bottom two at the top we don't have any extra steel rods let me guide you for 4a section for o for a section in this long section guys you can see so this is the section which is 4a so here we have guys look at here two bars at the bottom four at the top that's why because here we have at the distance of l by 4 we have negative bending moment guys you can see here we have negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment now let me make a graph for this So guys this is look at here this is negative bending moment coming down to the positive bending moment again negative bending moment so therefore this is positive bending moment we required here extra steel rods at the bottom here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods so here guys you can see we have uh, uh, so let me guide you properly again two bars we have also at the bottom so extra steel rods we have two rods look at here at the distance of l by 4 at the distance of l by 4 next guys you can see this is development length look at here which is very imp important to make a good bond between steel and concrete if you see at the distance of l by 4 look at here you can see l by 4 look at here l by 4 we have extra steel rods on both directions we have extra steel rods you can see the dia is 100 mm 4 inches here you can see the dia uh, you can see the spacing is 100 mm or you can say 4 inches center to center at the distance of 4b where we don't have negative bending moment so we don't have more chances of cracks so therefore you can see the spacing is increased up to 6 inches you can see clearly guys okay here we have 6 inches look at here this is the spacing this is the spacing look at here here we provided or we placed the stirrup closely so guys this is a short video in which i guided you specially for the 
uh, extra steel rods also for the section A and section B, 4B and 4A. So hope this short video can help you. And also you can, uh, so normally you know about uh, uh, this, that how you can read the structure drawing for the beam. So which I've discussed the front of you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.